Hey everybody, this is Brian Rowe with Trash Bash Bits. I uh, just wanted to show you one of the things that I'm working on right now. This is a going to be a small building with an observation tower. And in general, what I start off with is just a bunch of junk. This is from an international coffee container, just plastic. Um, these are knockoff, I guess, Duplo blocks. Um, you just knock this big peg off the top and it gives you a nice form that you can build things up that once you texture this, it'll actually look like cast concrete or masonry or something similar to that. Um, this ball was, I think, for gum. It was a, a gum container. I glued the lid down and kind of knocked off the little lifty part here. I'm going to put some antenna coming off the top here like that. Um, this was a container for a dish washer cleaner. Um, obviously made sure it was cleaned out really well because it's got caustic chemicals in it. But uh, that's going to go there. And then this is another one of the Duplo blocks. The top's cut off. Some uh, acrylic cutoffs for my laser cutter. And then I've started detailing this with model kit parts. But I'm not going to do too much with that because I'm going to texture all these parts. And I don't want the detail to get too gummed up. Um, one thing with this kind of container oftentimes has this little lip here. And you can see what I've started to do is to cut out parts where this is going to attach to other pieces. So with my trap, do trap jaw door, trap jaw door, and I'm going to put that right there. So I wanted to cut that piece out so that it fits there nice and flush. This will give us some strength, also give us something to glue down to, but it will allow this to sit completely flat and kind of works the whole thing into the model. So what I've done with this, I've got my piece of MDF board here, it's already cut and beveled, and I'm just playing around with how this is going to lay out on here. So you can put it all together like that, this is going to go on top, the doors are going to go here, and I'm going to use one of the um, steel iris doors, and I'll probably cut this part off, I'm going to use this as roof access, so People can actually come here. I do this opens up and there's a ladder or something that comes out here. And I'm going to use a lot of the gun ports to kit it out so that there will actually be some fields of fire coming out of the building. One thing when you're doing something like that, like this, it's a good idea to have a model so that you can actually make sure that things scale correctly. For this, this is supposed to be a passageway between these two things, so pretty much he looks like he'll fit. And I'll be using this for other science fiction games, um, especially Star Frontiers, the old TSR game, which the minis for that are actually quite a bit smaller, so it should scale really well. So the idea, once this is all together, and I can play around with it on the board just to get a sense of the overall layout, how things are going to go together, and what other parts that I might need to pick up to kind of make it work. One thing I wanted to do with this particular design is to give it, it's basically one giant cover piece. So if you have a single figure or a couple of figures, they can actually go back here, get complete cover, hide out. It makes a small fortress so that for such a small piece, there's actually a lot of playability here. And overall, it's going to be a very useful turning piece. So getting started on this. Um, once I get this textured and all put together and everything, I'll come back with another video and show you how that's progressing. But again, the reason that I came up with Trash Bash Bits in the first place was this is the part that I like to do. I like to put all this stuff together and play with shapes and to see what I can come up with with that. I don't necessarily want to spend the time to scratch build one of these every single time I need it. So this way, click, we're there, I can move on to other stuff. And it just makes it a lot more enjoyable to know that I can get this kind of repetitious detail without having to build this every single time. Okay, so that's the building that I'm working on. And before I let you go, I just wanted to show you a couple of cool things that I found that are going to be really useful. This is what Super Sippers Fun Building Straws. Couldn't care less about the actual reason for this. Kids make crazy straws that they drink out of. But all of these really awesome angled pipe pieces here and I think this was five dollars at Dollar General when I found it. These alone to me are worth it because it's really difficult to find a piece like that 
once these are glued on, textured just a little bit and painted, they're gonna look like really cool cast iron uh, angled pipe. And I think really look heavily industrial. There are also some really cool pieces here, this one X section, some other ones like this. So the straws are gonna go into, you know, my ties or whatever else, but these parts are gonna go onto some turning pieces and be really, really useful. The other thing is, um, this is diamond plate plastic, so it's got a diamond plate pattern on it. This is from JTT Architectural Model Parts. These are sold at Hobbytown USA. And compare this to Plastruct, or I don't know if Evergreen still does, a tread pattern or a diamond plate pattern. This is 650 for two sheets that are 7.5 by 12 inches. Every other brand that I found, the diamond plate is ridiculously expensive. So JTT, this is to me the best deal if you want to get diamond plate and have enough of it, you can really use it whenever you want it. It's not precious anymore. You know, three dollars and a quarter for a sheet of this, that's a pretty good bargain. So that's from JTT Architectural Model Parts. And again, you can get this at Hobbytown USA. That's gonna be here in North America. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.